First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Those big summertime downpours, we've got some out there right now. We're tracking those on radar. Nothing severe right now. The only thing really intense and close to severe would be the lightning. Uh, take a look at Molten. Very heavy rain in Molten right now. Power probably flickering off and on again. Lightning strikes there. Southeast of Albertville near Boaz, weakening and a moving a thunderstorm moving away near Scottsboro. Some heavy rain. We have two main lines here. The one's just west of Fayetteville and uh, northwest of Florence tracking east southeast. And the overall main line here that's producing most of the lightning in Trinity right now continues to move off to the east southeast as well. Here's a live view of Decatur looking west into that storm that's moving in. It looks kind of quiet and still there ahead of it, doesn't it? 86 degrees, very, very muggy in Huntsville, muggy as well. But just a farther look here, all of these clouds here building showers and thunderstorms moving in our direction. Very heavy rain here, a lot of lightning on Highway 64, maybe some pea sized hail moving into Fayetteville, wind gusts around 40 miles an hour possible with that. And that stretches to the southwest towards the state line, also moving into Ardmore. We've had some thunderstorms on the north side of Huntsville, but the strongest storm on radar right now, outside of the one near Fayetteville, moving into Fayetteville here in about 20 minutes, is the one that's been over Molten here. As you kind of turn this on its side, you can see very heavy rain, upwards of about 35, 40 40,000 feet now uh, with this particular thunderstorm you see just above the banner there. So this is leading to these intense downdrafts as well as the very heavy rain and possibly some pea sized hail within that storm as well over near Gurley and Woodville through the Paint Rock Valley thunder rolling through there as well. Here's a quick storm track. Lacey's spring expect this around 601 uh, Joppa and Arab around 607 611 Decatur moving in here in the next uh, 10 minutes. Same thing in Hartzell around 533. We're expecting very heavy rain, strong gusty winds, and that's pretty much it with these. Maybe an isolated damaging wind gust. And you can see the rain continues all the way up to Nashville. This is where the frontal boundary is. It'll slowly move south and until it gets through the area, we're still going to have at least a chance of showers and storms. Starting off at 7 o'clock, kind of a mess here. Scattered showers and storms everywhere. And a secondary surge here around 10 o'clock along the main front, featuring very heavy rain and some significant lightning. As we go past 2 o'clock in the morning, most of the rain shuts off. The temperatures drop into the 60s. And overall, tomorrow is a really nice day. I think the best chance for any showers at all will be earlier than noon. I don't think we'll see anything in Coleman and Albertville. That model guidance has kind of been back and forth all over the place. And speaking all over, over the place. Temperatures where it's rain cooled in the upper 60s, where it's not still feeling like 90 degrees. Rain on the roof forecast up and down. Down tomorrow, up Thursday, down Friday, up Saturday morning, then down again Sunday. Mowing forecast, going to try to get that in. Good weather tomorrow, especially by the afternoon. Good weather Friday as well. Thursday is not looking so good because we have a backdoor cold front moving in, a strong wedge. <laughs> And it's going to lead to temperatures perhaps only in the mid and upper 60s along the state line with Georgia, low to mid 60s out in the shoals. But regardless, we're looking at widespread scattered light rain showers. May not see any thunderstorms there, but those will return Friday night into Saturday morning. Trash pandas in town tonight trying to get that game in. Better weather, though, for tomorrow's matchup. Good weather for soccer on Friday. We're getting.